What's up, everybody? Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin. You're on Fast Entrepreneur. Tomorrow, election day in America. Get out and vote. All right. Uh, standing here by the, the little pond here. I think it's called like the uh, sugar Grove. Look at these guys. Look, look at these quackers. Want to do a quick update? We'll go side high, high to the to these little ducks here. Hey guys. All right, we're gonna do a quick uh, update for tomorrow. Proof of memes is uh, set to launch tomorrow morning, uh, Eastern time on a big exchange, M-E-X-C. And uh, now what does that mean? Well, uh, the only people that actually have Palm, their Palm airdrop are probably the ones that uh, did one of the early buy competitions. So uh, they, they got about 25% of whatever that was. Uh, and then I guess whatever liquidity is being provided um, so I think they're going to have a high listing price. Uh, I don't know, you know, how long that price will stay. I mean, I don't know. The, the sell pressure is only, like I said, it's only those buy, buy folks, 25% of the 500 ETH competition, you know, so you figure 125,000 ETH, uh, and then whatever the equivalent, um, you know, palm that was dropped for that. So anyways. That's that. A few other things coming up. Uh, we have, let's see. How you doing? We have, oh, I want to talk about uh, airdrops. Um, so some folks woke up to tens of thousands of dollars, it seems, uh, from hash flow. Uh, I wasn't one of them, maybe you were, but uh, yeah, it's crazy, I actually, so it looks like folks, if you don't know what hash flow is, it's basically, uh, you can make swaps and, you know, go from, uh, you know, chain to chain, you can see it, but uh, I don't know what the specific criteria were, I know that, you know, it looks like snapshots have been taken a little while ago, I actually had it on my, on my radar a while ago, uh, but you know, one thing I can, I can say sometimes they're just not, you know, at least for me, you know, you're one person, there's not so many hours in a day, you know, and, uh, you know, when you're limited with, you know, time and resources, you kind of have to pick and choose, uh, you know, what you do, at least that's the way I look at it. So, um, you know, lesson that one, uh, good, good for the folks that uh, did participate, uh, coming up though. I've mentioned this too. I think there's going to be some pretty big airdrops. We recently just had uh, anybody that was just played around or even registered, I think, for the Aptos testnet. And I've talked about Aptos before, you know, heavily backed VCs. You know, we've, you've got like, you know, kind of these like, uh, you know, Facebook, former Facebook guys involved, etc. So uh, they had launched, some, some folks had gotten, you know, several thousand dollars. Um, from that airdrop and I don't know if this is the right term but sister company Sui uh, they don't have an airdrop they said they weren't but sometimes they say they are and then they're gonna you know they just uh, they don't want to spill all the beans they probably want real users to be using it for the right reasons but um, uh, layer zero that's one that uh, and I just want to that's the one I want to focus on just quick today if you do have a shot uh, and you want to play around uh, with layer zero, um, heavily backed, uh, you can look, I mean, Google, I think PayPal, some of these, I mean, you know, very few. So I, I think that there is, it is a centralized network, uh, but I do think that, you know, when big projects come about like this with that much money, um, you know, sometimes, uh, they do reward. And so layer zero's out, uh, Chico Crypto actually just put out a video, uh, in the last day or so. He was mentioning that as well. Um, so you can check out his video about that and why. But the reason I said, I mean, if you, if you only have so many hours in a day or, you know, let's say you only have, you know, a certain amount of funds, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these, you know, they kind of require you to do a certain amount of volume. So, you know, you know, a couple hundred bucks might be better than, you know, 10 or 20 bucks uh, when you're going through these platforms, but you might want to pick and choose. Uh, and that might be one, something you want to look into. So, 
anyways that's all i mean i'm not uh, going too crazy this week it's still november we've got crazy weather as you can see i'm you know short in a t-shirt i mean we're in november already so uh pretty cool stuff uh what else is there to talk about um yeah i mean election day i'm probably going to be spending you know this week you know just kind of you know doing a few things here and there um election day is is tomorrow so i'd like to you know to support and kind of watch and, and see how we're we're moving in in that direction um but uh, other than that you know besides the proof of means i think that's a big big first step uh at least to have palm listed uh proof of means you know next step they'll have to uh get these airdrops going transition everybody over uh, and then we just kind of we wait and see to see uh, but I will say this, I mean, from what I've seen, uh, you know, I'm definitely pretty high hopes for this project. And, you know, I think their market cap has been fluctuating, you know, anywhere recently between like 20 and 50 million, which, you know, for an L1 to do what it wants to do, uh, still pretty small, but we are at a bear market and, uh, it's turning heads. Uh, what else? I guess I'll mention Doge TV, uh, for all the DGens out there. You know, I've mentioned a few times, you, might, you know, you probably know this. Uh, I've talked about the shill tank that they've got uh, with B-Roots and, and Ian and, and Jake. Um, I don't know if this project actually made it on the shill tank, but uh, isn't it just beautiful, by the way? But um, but the idea here, those TV, I think right now we're at about four or five million market cap. But the idea looks like it's like a, you know, a decentralized streaming platform. Um, I don't know. To me, I mean, when I first looked into it, I said, how is this legal? Uh, I don't, you know, and I still haven't like done, that's why I'm strictly just mentioning it, uh, if you want to look into it or not. But apparently there's a bunch of television stations, um, yada, yada, movies, uh, where, you know, people hold this token uh, and then they, you know, get access to, uh, to this platform. I don't know. I thought it was pretty interesting. So that's probably why I'm bringing it up. <laughs> and um, what else? So, yeah, but but uh, anyways, I'm just bringing it up. You know, obviously, you know, if you want to get in, you got to get in early on, on projects. And I don't know, you know, I mean, how much room does this thing have to grow? I mean, some people say, hey, give you 100 million plus. Uh, and maybe so. I mean, if it is legit, uh, it really is good service. I can see, you know platforms like that uh but anyways i'm just bringing that up for the, a dgen play some of the other ones i'm not really uh let's see what else um what else do i want to talk about probably i don't know in the dgen world what do we got check out these sunglasses by the way uh in the dgen world you know i follow a bunch of these uh you know names kind of on, on, on Twitter, you know, I do check it out. I do check out Dex tools and all that every once in a while, but it's not something, at least for me, uh, it's more just kind of looking into, I find it you know, interesting to see what's going on, but I do think that if you're in that world, it's very high risk. So, I mean, it could be something like one out of 10, you know, platforms or so, you know, end up making it. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. What else? Um, I mentioned Tesseract. Uh, haven't gone back to look at it, but, uh, and I don't know if any of you have at all, but, um, you know, it may be something. Anyways, no, I don't know. Oh, hi. Let's see, what else? Uh, might I mention on the stream? Um, eh, let's see, what else? What else? I mean, Bitcoin's been holding pretty strong. Um, you know, I, I think probably more likely that it just kind of bounces around in this range, 18 to 22,000, 
for a little while. Obviously, we're waiting for regulation. You know, big thing here is the midterms coming up. Uh, you know, they are kind of touting it as a, you know, a red, a red surge, a red wave. Um, but you know, obviously, anything can happen. Uh, what else is there? We've got. Uh, what else can we talk about? I had a lot of things to do today. I took a nap. Um, I mentioned Trubit. I mean, people always asking if Trubit, Trubit. I mean, to me personally, Trubit is, you know, still Trubit. It's it's a long-term scaling solution. Um, and, you know, whether it's tomorrow or next year or a few years, uh, I mean, I still think that it has something very unique. You know, we're looking at scaling options, you know, say with layer twos and whatnot. Uh, but I think that, you know, down the, down the road, as I walk down the road, down the road, um, you know, scaling computation and not just on the blockchain. I think Trubit, from what I understand, still one of those, uh, you know, massive plays. Um, let's see. Ruby, Ruby. Uh, what else is there? Uh, we'll talk about Cosmos. So Cosmos ecosystem. Uh, I've been very bullish for a while. Um, interoperability. I do think that you know we still haven't maybe seen the Cosmos ecosystem you know fully mature probably the way that it uh, it can and it will, but, you know, we've got proposals for Atom 2.0, you know, proposals for, uh, for your movement to interchange security and stuff like this. But there are some, you know, some airdrops that uh, are in the works, in the queue, and they just take time, you know, usually staking, like, you know, the top, you know, like Atom, Osmo, Juno, you know, maybe now Evmos stars for NFTs, uh, you know, may get you eligible to be in the running for that. Um, so, yeah, there's a few out there. I mean, just in terms of like the Evmos, uh, I mean, Evmos turned out to be, you know, as a rec drop free for folks. And, you know, people have been staking that for months. And, uh, you know, there's been some, some of price appreciation, lots of volatility. Uh, but certainly a, pro, uh, yeah, a platform that, you know, there has been rewards. There's a few other, uh, programs out now with higher, but I don't know in terms of where they're going to go. I mean, I've looked at like territory, uh, Rebus chain. Um, I mean, they, they do look legit and, uh, you know, they are paying high APRs, but time will tell. Time will certainly tell um that's that uh nfts i mean blur the blur marketplace uh, is up there's an airdrop actually for listing uh you know you list on the platform it looks like they're going to be doing some airdrop my guess is that it's going to be based on volume so you know for folks that uh you know spend a lot on nfts and that's that's the jam it's probably something to look into the platform looks pretty cool um, I was waiting to see when, cause when they had launched, uh, I don't even think they had the contract out. So I was just waiting to see what permissions, uh, you know, what the contract was. Um, but, uh, looks like that, there's a bunch of airdrops, uh, coming around. So anyways, that's it. Beautiful day. Get outside, walk, go vote. See ya. Peace.